Tomas will be creating a complex montage vessel. Montage is a technique that originated in Laosha, and it consists of combining many bubbles into one piece. He needs to pull a series of points and create the sections which will comprise the vessel. The sections will be assembled end to end, and this technique is known as Incalmo. The brass reamer he's using is 50 years old, and it was a gift from his father. Thomas uses a graphite paddle and flattens the end to make it flush, so that when it attaches to the next section, it'll minimize the creation of holes. <laughs> Yodeling is just part of the ambiance. Thomas is a very funny guy. He blows out the bubble and has to be careful not to blow it out too thin, or later on there'll be some trouble when assembling the piece. He uses a 6 to 8 millimeter rod for his punti. The punti glass must be the same COE as the tubing. He heats a small spot on the side of the bubble as well as superheating the end of the punti. He connects them and pushes the punti a little bit into the bubble. Then he blows gently and then pulls the punti slightly out. He frequently checks to make sure that the punti and the point are in alignment and on the same plane. As he joins the bubble and the blue section, you can see that the openings are exactly the same size. A very soft, fluffy flame is used. He wants to heat the bubble more than the blue glass, and then the two sections flow together like honey. That's the fun part. When you blow the glass out thin like that, it's just like paper. You can't even crush it in your hands. It won't cut you. It's, it's really more like saran wrap than anything else. I mean, it's, it's very cool. Anyway, now he has the hole that he needs, and it's time to move on. His trusty brass reamer once again helps him adjust the size of the hole. Now we add the last color. It's a special kind of glass made only in Laosha. This tubing starts out rather translucent, but the more you work it, the more opaque it becomes. What he needs to do now is to take the middle section, take those walls, which are thin, thick, thin, thick, all different wall thicknesses. He has to even it out and make it all one wall thickness. And that's the difficult part. Thomas likes to use what he refers to as a witch broom flame to help him do that. You see, it really does look like a witch's broom, nice and bushy. This video never would have happened if it wasn't for the efforts of Shane Farrow and Fred Burkhill. As legend has it, Fred smuggled himself into Laosha when it was still under communist control, at great peril to the friends and acquaintances that he made on his journey. And both Fred and Shane have lectured and written extensively on the history of Laosha. They're real experts on the scholarly aspect. And I basically hitchhiked a ride with Shane and his family after the Glass Art Society conference in Amsterdam. They were driving to Laosha and I said, oh my gosh, I have always wanted to go. Can, can I come too? And, and can I bring a camera? And they checked around and everybody said that was a good idea and that's how this all came to be. So thanks guys. The bottom needs to be blown out a little bit wider than the top. That'll make it more stable and balanced and it's more attractive that way as well. After using the reamer you can see that the opening flares out slightly and so Tomas uses a graphite marver to help straighten it back out. He flame anneals the bottom and now the piece is finished.
That's today enough. <laughs> Bitte schön. <lacht>